Richards, um, just uh, the management team, the coach, well, I mean, Roy Keane's um, war talk at a press conference uh, talking about people putting their bodies on the line for their country and uh, remarking that some people had died for their country. Um, is this appropriate for an assistant manager? I, I don't like that type of talk um, from, from anybody. I mean, it's a how game about of thinking? How about thinking for your country? <laughs> yeah, or playing well. I mean, yeah. mean, that's, all we want the footballers to do is play well and represent the country and do it in the right way. It's not a war. or It's, it's not a question of killing yourself or putting yourself on the line. I, I never liked that type of talk. No. You know, it, 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 it links up a little bit with South Guy's uh, attitude last week, I and mean, we're taking oh, the yeah. lads down for commando stuff. You know, all that. This is the game of football. Yeah, let's and go you back. represent your country, you know? Yeah, let's go back to that because I know we yeah. talked about it privately. England had a. They were lucky in the end to get a 2 2 draw uh, against Scotland. And. Mm. One of the preparations for the game, and in fact, Roy Keane did this at Sunderland or Ipswich, wherever he was. Uh, he went for this rollerball stuff and commando stuff. Now, mm. Gareth Southgate took his England players on a uh, yeah. commando course. Uh, yeah. and for two days. Then. For two days. Now, this was the, with the intention, he said, of toughening them up and making them real but if you have it you have it you don't have to go on the commando course right that's your point isn't it yeah he's the footballers I mean <laughs> and he, and in my opinion he's wasted two days where he could be on the training pitch teaching them how to play yeah no he's, he's saying oh yeah we, we, we um, what's, the, what's the term now uh, uh, got together a spirit yeah no, bonding on a, bonding what, bonding I mean on a commando course yeah. You know, well, it was actually quite dangerous. I saw that lad Trippier, who plays with Spurs, said, oh, it was a bit scary for me on a few occasions. And also, he's taken lads down the commando course where they've had a hard season, where they're always complaining to the managers about the players playing too many matches. And this was really hard stuff. There were four-mile runs and all the various things that commandos do. Yeah. Well, you'd be better off teaching them how to play football and, 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 and <laughs> really let them play the way I mean footballers go out on the pitch and you've played with them I've played with the Warriors anyway they, yes. but Warriors in a football sense they're not commandos and commandos doesn't help and if they need bonding from commandos then there's something wrong with the with the, the management team themselves yeah oh, it's, it's just ridiculous stuff ok John it's, it's great to talk to you <laughs> uh, just a final question in that piece you did for independent.ie you did ask the question does Martin O'Neill see this uh, what picture is he looking at? Yeah, well, well, he's been in the job for three years, Damon. Now, and and I think at this stage, I think what we got got on 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 the weekend is what we're going to get. You know, we we can go on about Wes Hull and talk about this, that, and the other. But Martin obviously has a way way of of of, of doing it, which is which is his own way. But I I don't think it's as effective, and certainly wasn't effective, especially in the home games. I don't think it's been as as effective uh, as it should be. OK, thanks uh, for joining us, John. And uh, maybe Martin and Roy should go on a commando course. That's all.